hello there and welcome to the channel. Today we are down with the guys at Clipper Marine at Cobbs Key to have a look at this Glastron GS249. So fairly standard I would suggest, very popular, produced thousands of them over the years, very capable Cuddy Sports Cruiser. So we're starting outside as you can see, it's got I think they call this a porpoise nose, porpoise nose anchor and the idea is it throws the anchor out nice and clear of the hull so normally if they come out here as you winch your anchor up it tends to bash the side of the hull whereas this way it's nice and clear and it uh, it doesn't damage your gel coat or grp you can see also up here there is a remote control searchlight just for the sake of it is a trailerable boat so if you've got a trailer you can tow it this is how you winch down onto your trailer and these are the drains for the anchor locker pretty decent hull a lot of the very early American boats were famous for flat bottoms, but the later ones like this, this is a 2005, have a much better hull on them. Fender baskets up the front there, and you can see this one also comes with a full camper canvas. In case you're wondering, that little box there is your shore power plug-in. Little bathing platform on the back, and this one comes with a Volvo Penta outdrive which is mated to a 5 litre Volvo Penta GL petrol engine. So let's go and have a look on board, shall we? So there's your bathing platform. You can see obviously boarding ladder uh, if you're climbing out from the water. Grab handle there. Tow eye. So this is a very capable boat for towing or water skiing or wakeboarding. And then you've got a couple of cleats on the bathing platform and then there's your petrol fuel filler cap there. Enter through the bathing platform. That then enables you to gain access to the cockpit. Now these boats follow a very formulaic layout if you like. So you've got a seating section here, obviously engine bay below us. It's quite a nice neat little locker just here. Hang to this with one hand. The offenders, it's really neat. L shaped seating on the uh, port side. You can see that window over there is access through to the aft cabin or the undersole cockpit. Single captain's chair, looks very comfortable though, with a fold up bolster. Conventional throttle. This is your kill switch, so the idea is you clip this onto yourself, and then if you fell overboard, it pulls that tag out there, kills the engine. And over here, we have controls for the spotlight on the front that we looked at earlier, and anchor winch up and down. And then, fairly standard set of instruments so fuel, speed, water temperature, outdrive leg trim. RPM, depth, oil pressure, and battery voltage. Then obviously here is a Garmin GPS navigator, conventional compass, and if you want to go forward, you can do, you just pop out this little window, it folds over, and you then can gain yourself access to the foredeck. I'm not gonna do it today because we're up high and there's, there's little side decks, but forward you can see the escape hatch, and then there's an anchor bowsprit and the searchlight. And this little section here off screen zips out to enable you to go forward. <coughs> we'll just zip that one back up. So that's your view forward. Really easy boat to, to drive and steer because you've got a great view forward. You can obviously see all the way around the sides. And if you look out the back, you can see your bathing platform which you're going in stern to. Decent sized camper canvas up here. So really good headroom. Really good little cockpit area. So if you want to move forward, really straightforward, I've already done it a little bit earlier, but that section folds back, this door folds back, and actually while we're here it's obviously quite obvious, but this has got clipping carpets, which just takes away some of the harshness of that GRP there. Really good opening recess, one step down, takes you to this little recessed area where you can take a step on board. But let's just have a quick look before we go in. Again, I, I mentioned before, this is very formulaic, so this is a formula that works for this size of boat. Galley on the port side, you can see it's a molded section. Then we have a V 
berth slash dinette forwards so this table here drops down i'm guessing or something certainly fills it in um, to make a v berth forwards actually this is a table i believe from outside so this is the cockpit table but you can see there's a support here that holds this on infill cushions go in the middle and makes up a forward v berth but at the moment it's set for dining there's a little hatch there which again opens for ventilation but also gives you the ability to escape out the front of the boat if you need to for any reason and there are conventional opening port lights which actually quite nicely on this one have got the fly screens in so it keeps the mosquitoes and the bugs out tv slash dvd player on the wall there and over on the starboard side we have a door here which gains us access into the heads Again, fairly conventional but very functional. Manual pump out, um, jabs go loo, ventilation, and a wash basin with what looks like, I'm guessing, yeah. So that actually shower you and it pulls out, tips in here, and you can convert it from being a, a shower to a tap by selecting the button on the top. But again, not quite standing headroom, but certainly very close. Then on the port side, we have the galley. So electric um, alcohol stove, I think we looked at earlier, very similar format with the tap. And then there's an electric microwave. And as you would expect, selection of storage covers. Cutlery drawer, always very important. Down below the cooker there, we have a isotherm fridge bit of extra storage under here a large looking storage cover there you go over there hanging storage that would be so you can put your life jackets or your jackets in there just below the microwave we have a carry-on stereo system and then here we have the control panel so left hand side is for all your 12 volt commands and switches and trips and right hand side is for your mains 240 volt trips Below the cockpit sole, so effectively, if you like, that window gains fresh air and access and light to the aft cockpit. Double berth slides underneath there. As you can see, it's actually surprisingly large. And then there's a cutout section over here and just around the corner there to give you a bit more sitting space. Looks like the previous owners fitted a rail here so you can hang your additional clothing and bits and pieces up. And there's a light there. And I'm that looks like it comes with a tonneau cover so there's a cover that you could put over the boat so if you take the camper canvas off as we've got here you can put a tonneau cover which just basically like a winter storage cupboard sorry winter storage cover so there you go let's have a quick look at the engines so to do that really straightforward we lift oh geez, it's just before we do that so this seat here, I'm pretty confident, you can lift it up, fold it out, and it drops in and makes this entire section here um, like a sun lounger, sunbed. But in this instance, I'm going to lift the whole thing up. Because now what we want to do is gain access to the engine bed. There's a little bit of storage under there. As you can see, the current person's got it to hide their adapter. Speakers over there for the stereo system. And if I just unpop one of these, this is this pop-out carpet. So it just makes it a little bit easier, more comfortable, nicer to walk on. And then under here we have nice self-supported engine hatch. And then down there is our five litre Volvo Penta GL. Down here we've got two batteries. I'm guessing one is probably for domestic use and the other one is for engine starting. Water tank down there. And there's an inverter down there which they're using to generate 240 volts off the domestic battery. That thing at the back there, if you're interested, is actually the hydraulic ram that controls the outdrive leg for steering. And then that box over there is the trim tab hydraulic controller. And that box or unit there is the hot water converter. So it takes hot water from the engine and turns into domestic hot water, but it also heats hot water through the immersion heater. So an element inside of that. So there you go, that is pretty much it. Very straightforward, very practical, very functional 24 foot sports boat. And here you go, you can see the mechanism here. So this mechanism unclips like so, and this whole seat then 
when it's down, slides out and gives you a massive sun lounger. So you can imagine, day a bit like today, you can take all the covers off, fold that down at anchor, have a beautiful afternoon sun lounging, lying around, just generally chilling. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe. See you next time around.